focus on Karnataka Bank. The stock was buzzing on Friday after Ambit initiated coverage on the stock with a buy rating. Mr. Sri Krishna, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at Karnataka Bank, joins us on the show to discuss the business outlook. Hi, sir. Morning, and thanks so much for joining in. Well, Ambit is clearly bullish on this uh, stock, on the bank, and they have put out a couple of numbers. So I wanted your take on what they have put out. They're assuming that you'll grow by closer to around 18%, with ROEs moving up to around 14%. Do you think that's possible? Good morning. I just want to put up a disclaimer right away uh, to say that, you know, we are in the quiet period. Uh, we have the quarterly results, the Q3 results on January 23rd next week. I'd be able to uh, really say a few more numbers in real uh, terms, you know, uh, next week. But having said that, yes, uh, the report uh, has been bullish. The bank, we are bullish about uh, the bank as new management. And more importantly, uh, there are other capital market investors who have also been uh, bullish. So specifically okay. to your question, uh, this is a stated objective earlier that uh, we will uh, hit 100,000 crores uh, on the gross advances within three years. And uh, this is something that I stated on your channel in uh, June. And we stick to that. And uh, we have grown the last quarter, that's Q2, by 17% plus uh, on an annualized basis on the gross advances. The rest of the metrics are also growing correspondingly. Not as much on the deposits, but we will pick up uh, uh, definitely there as well because we have a very strong deposit franchise, a very strong branch and a very strong digital franchise, uh, digital franchise that we are building up now. So given that, uh, you know, outlook, uh, we believe that, you know, we are on track and uh, whatever has been stated uh, by the analysts who so respected, uh, we believe that, you know, we should be able to meet uh, their expectations. So growth you're sounding confident on, ROE of around 14%, that as well as gettable? I have said this earlier that, you know, the guidance, uh, again, I know I go back to the Q2 uh, guidance. Uh, so we have always said that, you know, we'd be about 14 to 16 and uh, we would maintain in that range. Okay. Uh, if the, On the loan growth side, I just wanted to understand where are you seeing maximum amount of traction from in terms of corporate growth, retail uh, loan growth? And what do you see as the big trend in 2024? So 2024, based on uh, whatever uh, CPI uh, numbers that uh, Lata just talked about and uh, over uh, our own uh, you know, views, we believe that uh, the corporate growth, uh, the MSME growth and the SME growth is going to pick up a lot. But uh, as a bank, uh, we are focused uh, very, very clearly on uh, SME, MSME. Uh, corporate side, we go up to the mid-sized corporate, not necessarily the large corporates, uh, because mm. you know we do have certain uh, limitations related to uh, overall appetite and uh, the numbers based on our balance sheet size. And uh, our retail growth has been very, very uh, encouraging. So we have a mix, which is uh, like almost like 50-50 between retail agri constituting a 50% and uh, the balance uh, through MSME and mid-sized corporates. All our uh, assets are over 90, 95% are collateral based. So that is also a very good kind of uh, uh, risk appetite, you know, that you know, we have sure. been uh, taking so far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, since you're talking about that, you know, you have 91% of, of your book is a secured loan book, right? And you are taking a lot of initiatives to improve your collections, etc. Would that mean lower credit costs for you in uh, FY24 compared to what you've seen last year? It will be. Uh, there are three uh, things that we are doing. One is that, you know, we are partnering with a lot of uh, uh, NBFC stroke fintechs uh, on the co-lending side. So the origination, you know, comes from them. Uh, credit controls and uh, our metrics uh, are superimposed on uh, their origination. So as a result, we'll be able to acquire uh, credit at a much lower cost. That's one. The second is that, you know, we have actually a branch uh, channel where uh, we have deployed a lot of sales, uh, you know, fold, uh, sales field force. And uh, this is on the retail asset side. And the third is that uh, we have a digital outlook and uh, we have now digitized many customer journeys where onboarding of loans, including vehicle loans, commercial vehicle loans, and also on the housing and uh, the rest of the personal loans, etc. So while, uh, yes, you know, right now there is a skew to uh, collateral-based and secured lending, but over a period of time, we will also institute some changes uh, to cash flow based lending. And this is something in the works. Again, uh, nothing to be uh, you know, said as an outlook for this quarter or the next quarter. It is a, a, a vision that you know we'll execute as the new management of Karnataka Bank. 
<coughs> Mr. Shri Krishnan, hi, uh, good morning, uh, Prashant Desai. I mean, over the last de de uh, decade and a half, uh, two decades or so, I mean, Karnataka Bank has uh, go gone through so much. I mean, I've, uh, I remember having conversations with earlier managements about whether it's an acquisition target, uh, or, you know, as one of the old private sector banks, uh, etc. I mean, all of that, of course, is thing of the past now, right? I mean, any... any good morning, Prashant. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Go morning, on. morning, morning, Prashant. Yeah. So, yes, uh, you know, I've heard about this, uh, you know, hist history related to the bank and uh, there have been some conversations that have happened. But uh, I think that organic growth is something which uh, we are uh, bullish on and uh, there is a lot of potential. We have excellent uh, skilled staff at our uh, branches uh, who are able to uh, underwrite uh, credit proposals and also make sure that, you know, the processes are uh, very, very robust. Uh, we are trying to superimpose the, uh, you know, the the uh, digital side on the credit processes and also making sure that, you know, uh, there is a faster uh, turnaround time as far as the retail and the mid-size corporate uh, loan uh, approvals are concerned. So there are lots of uh, changes that we are doing on process, product, technology, for which we needed capital. As you are aware, we raised capital in November 800 crores. And uh, we believe that, you know, we are on the right track, uh, strengthening the financial position of the bank strengthening the financial uh, services uh, that we can offer uh, through ourselves as well as the partnerships that we have enter entered into in the recent past. And third is that uh, there is a new management which has come in to execute this uh, vision and the strategy. Um, uh, we we'll, uh, wish you all the luck, sir. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope this is, I mean, the first of many conversations uh, through the course of 2024. Thank you very much uh, for joining us here. Thank on uh, CNBC TV 18. Uh, good luck. Well, that's uh, the management of Karnataka Bank. Uh, now, uh, the standout brokerage. Uh,